Howdy, happy Wild West Wednesday. Welcome to Mad Fish's Posse Roundup. It's New Year's Eve Eve, you guys. Are you making resolutions? My resolution is to stream more <laughs> once I uh, move into my new place. Looking forward to that. And I just want to thank you guys for um, being so patient with my uh, lack of streams and uh, videos coming to the channel during this time. This time of... Uh, it's a little bit of hardship, I'd say. We're not in our own home. We're staying in someone else's home and waiting to move into the new place. So it's just tough, guys. Bad internet. <laughs> We're doing our best. We're keeping a grin on our face. Hi, Logan. Logan, hello. You are first. Good job. Moose, hi. Yay. <laughs> Yay for sure. I'm so glad to see your names pop up here, guys. So yeah, um, it's still snowing a little bit in Red Dead, which I love. However, it is not sticking to the ground any longer. So that's fun. You know, they've programmed this snow to be super wintry. When we had our little Christmas stream last week, it was a lot more, even in the desert, sticky. I'm wondering if we go to places farther north, Obviously, there will be more snow on the ground, hopefully. I don't know. I wonder what, what that's like. So, yay. What is Crips doing? Mam Meow and I ran our table last time, so things are looking pretty operational, but need to add some materials. So, we, we'll keep our, our heads up and do some hunting today as we go along and do our dailies. What do we got? How are you today, Madvish? I'm good. I am good. I'm having a productive day. I uh, learned how to clean battery acid leakage out of a flashlight. Uh, guys, believe it or not, I used a paintbrush. <laughs> Vinegar is great. Uh, Banana Tom, what's up? Hi, everyone. I'm good, too. Ooh, nice. Um, so we got to sell some animal teeth. All right, cool easy bears killed oh my gosh that's a feat defended a campsite you know i always wish when they had this daily that they would increase the likelihood of you having to defend your own camp it's happened to me once it was so cool and i always dream of it happening again basically i got i was out in free roam and i got a message in the corner that said um a bandit company is getting ready to invade your camp fast travel back to camp to help crips defend it and i was like what oh my god so of course i did what it told me and i came back and it hadn't started yet i came into camp i was like what's up crips and then suddenly all these like bandits started coming out of nowhere um the dogs went crazy before they right before they got there it was so fun so cool i can we please get more of that I want one a session every time I log in. Uh, I'm good too. Wait, what? How? Um, what do you do mostly to get money? Moonshine, bounties, etc. Mm, yes, my preference for quick, good cash is trade runs. So staying on top of keeping your trade table working, operational. Getting those, um, get your large wagon, do the distant delivery. Obviously, I wouldn't do it now. I've got only six goods ready. So uh, that's beaucoup de money. And when your posses do it with you, uh, posse members get a little less cash, but like really decent cash. Because I think it's you get like 600 something dollars and then your posse members get, I don't know, 300, 400. And then sometimes there's a boost right and they you know they jack up the percentage you make on trades and i've seen as high as like 900 dollars on a single full wagon and that means your posse members get like 600 
So um, posse up, I think that's because then you can do switch posse leaders and do other people's tables. So if you've got like four people, you can rotate between tables and make a good hunk of money in just a little bit of time. So that's my recommendation. Oh yeah, my money, 948. Dude, I've had over a thousand before. You should see Firestorm, Mama Ten's uh, partner in crime. He, <laughs> he doesn't, he's not a big spender. That's the thing. He just saves it up. So he's got like crazy thousands of dollars. And there's other gamers, streamers, uh, content creators that have way more cash than I do. So yeah, oh, we didn't finish reading the dailies. Sorry guys. Got to stay focused before we run away from camp. Oh, distance traveled on a mount. Easy. We're already making, making that one up. Flying birds killed. Okay. Oxen skinned. Oh, that one's sad. I don't like doing that one. Uh, visited Le Gras. Okay, easy. Also, making stew is like the easiest one. Load in a camp, do it. Good sold to local bar. We don't have it today, and that's fine. Okay, so first things first, let's use our fast travel at camp to go to Le Gras. Uh, so then the other good cash things are the collecting. Um, I never focus on my collecting. I just let it be organic and it happens. I just collect things when I find them. And then if I get a collection, I sell to Madame Nazar. If I want some quick cash, I'll, um, I'll show you my satchel. Uh, wait. Mm. Okay, so say my tarot cards, for instance. When I go see Madame Nazar, if I have more than two of an item, I'll sell one. I'll sell two of these. Right, I keep two of anything that I have always because um, of the weekly collection. You know what I'm talking about. Madame Nazar sends you a letter. I think it's... Uh, where does she put it? It's gotta be in here. Um, do I have one right now? That's just a general thing. Uh, maybe it's in my post box. Because Madame Nazar sends you a letter and then you have to find a, a very certain little collection of items. So if you always have two of an item, sell the rest of Madame Nazar. When the weekly thing comes up, you likely will already have it filled up. That's what I do. Oh man, Crips just brought up Madame Nazar. How weird. Can he hear me? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, here we go. So here it is. Gemstone collection. Um, we'll just collect all because that supplies my ammo. So, gemstone collection. Where does it go? Where does it go? Does it go in here? Hmm. Where does it go to tell you? I think, hold on, it, mm, you can look at it. Progress? Rolls? Collections? Nope, not here. There, it is a really weird place that they put it. Um, yeah, I don't know where that gets stashed. Mm. Can I play with you? Is that possible? Uh, the not at the moment. Uh, do you have? Red Dead on PS4? I have seen them before. I know what they look like. Cool. Howdy, y'all. Hi, Galarak. Howdy. So you say posse up. 
Yeah, you know, I invited my usual posse people, and they're just not always available. And it's sort of supposed to be like kind of easygoing and sporadic. But um, I don't stream with people I haven't um, like really like played with before because I got to get to know your personality and know if it's going to be good for streaming. We could always just play off air, you know, if I had time. Um, so I don't know. Logan, aren't you a kid? That's the other thing. I'm old. And so I would prefer to only play with people who are also old. <laughs> um, thank you for understanding. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Banana, am I okay to jump into your party to ask you something, Maddie, related to my stream? Yeah. Yeah, Tom. You, you can do that because Tom and I stream together, right? So I already had sent you an invite, Tom. I'm always hoping... I'm hoping and dreaming of the day you posse up with me on a Wednesday. Because we got to level up your RDO character. Tom and I uh, play D2 together on Sundays and Tuesdays, uh, Logan. So if you haven't checked out Banana Tom's stream, uh, streaming yet, you got to uh, do that. Banana, uh, Banana Tom, I have just made you a moderator in my channel, so if you want to pop your link to your channel in here, please do. Let's see. Where do we have to go? Lagra, right here. $10. We are, like, in Tumbleweed or whatever, so, yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> PS4 literally just turned it on. The fan is running. Maybe you gotta clean it out. You gotta get some compressed air and... I don't know. I wouldn't recommend doing it unsupervised or without a YouTube video to follow. But yeah. Hey, what up, Tom? Howdy doody do. <laughs> and hi, stream. <laughs> Yeah, this is the Banana Tom, who's also in chat. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> you have a question? So, I'm also going to reinstall Red Dead, seeing as I completely forget every time. But if I do it now, I'll definitely remember. Yeah, get it done while you're So, a question. That. Yeah. For my stream, um, due to going to the hospital and not feeling great today, I'm going to stream D2, and wondering if you fancy jumping in if you've got time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Um, I noticed one of the Lost Sectors is giving away exotic legs. So it's a chance to get your hunter potentially Sweet. a decent exotic. Yeah. I'm down. I'm totally down, dude. Thank you for asking me. So that'll cool, be cool. after cool, my stream, cool, cool, guys. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. To any of the usual gang as well, there'll be a slot for you doing it. But I'll basically do what we... I said the other day, get yeah. to the end of the Lost Sector, I'll jump out, and that gives you the chance at an exotic. Alright, yeah. Cool, right, well, I'll just yeah. make a brew, and I can either stay in the party or not while I sort out Destiny, it's up to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I mean, like, go on mute, get your brew, whatever you gotta do. I'm down. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Well, I'll yeah. be back shortly then, and I'll All stick right. Red Dead in now. Heck yeah. Cool. Be right back. All right, bye. There we go. Distance traveled on a mount. Accomplished. Now, um, I don't know. Do the birds come out with all this snow? We gotta shoot ten flying birds, guys, and I don't see any. We might want to go to a different area. Nice and fun that the snow is still on the ground here. How cute is that? Ten cent bounty. Uh oh. Oh, hey. Player camp. Don't see a player. Their white flag is down. That's always fun. Um, we've got a big full, full server here. <laughs> Fluffy bunny. Uh, cool. Let me focus back on these. Okay. Sell some animal tooth. Oh, bears. We gotta go find a bear. 
oxen. Okay, um, let's find our closest tra fast travel. Because the, the oxen I know about... Um, Emerald Ranch. Actually, we could just ride over here. So over here at Emerald Ranch, I believe there is an oxen. So we'll go check that out. Do, 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 do. Keeping our eye out for birds along the way. But honestly, guys, I don't think birds like snow. <laughs> Am I right? Say hi to Tom for me. <laughs> well, how are you doing, Logan? Doing good, I hope. Moose is working and lurking. I know that. Thanks for being here. Anyway, Moose. Moose is like permanent posse member numero uno. Uh, he's like first mate. Dude, you know what I would love is like, uh, like a reskinning of RDO. That is uh, pirate themed. <laughs> uh, like I know Rockstar kind of has their hands full with um, messing up their two current games. But um, uh oh something's going on over here. <laughs> but I wouldn't mind if Rockstar made a pirate game. Create your own pirate character and go around and cause chaos. Uh, hi. Excuse me. This, uh, little family does not need you messing up their life. Oh, there's more. Uh. Thought I already killed you. No! You leave them alone! My fear with these ones always is if there's too many guys, um, sometimes they wind up killing one of the campers. Oh, jeez. I'm just getting these headshots pretty good, though. Ah, come on. I've got to eat something. Oh, who to get? Who to get? Hmm? Oh, I did it! I did it! And they didn't die! Yay! And like, half the bodies will be gone. Ah, <sighs> so annoying. Defended a campsite! Dude, I was so glad we stopped and did that. That was one of our dailies. Heck yeah. I didn't mean to shoot the horse. I never liked doing that. Ooh, I killed two horses. Eesh! Eesh. You know, if if they're gonna force you to actually kill horses as an option in this game, they should at least let you skin them. Right? I've heard horse meat's real good. <laughs> I have never eaten horse and I don't know that I would, I'm sorry. It's just something I know that happens. Hey, Logan, I'll say hi in person shortly. <laughs> By the way, how do you do the stream without showing the box? Uh, it is a setting. Uh, when you're setting up your broadcast, you go to broadcast gameplay, right? And then I think in that menu, before you hit start broadcast, there's like advanced settings or something like that. Uh, or maybe even not. It might be right at the top. There's some check boxes. And you just uncheck the box that um, displays the chat in the full screen. Um, I really love taking pictures uh, when I'm playing, right? And so I have been streaming without the, the message box there on the right. So I can take awesome pictures. And you guys get a beautiful full view of these beautiful games. 
and uh, I just use my phone to read chat. Don't you love when you firm, firm the perfect cliff, you slide down and not fall? Oh, yeah, totally. That's really fun. I like that. Yo, what's up, Dimash? My love, my sweet. Um, welcome to the stream. So we're doing great on our dailies so far. We're headed to Emerald Ranch. We're going to find some oxen and skin them. Oh, gross. Harriet won't be very happy with us, but that's all right. I did finally get a chance to see her the other day. Um, she didn't spray me and, you know, make me go wonky doodle unconscious and drag me into the woods. She's so freaky. She's a freaky lady. Uh, but I like her. I don't know, something about her spunk. Look, here's these oxen. Hi. Doing sausage so I can have the volume on. Oh, cool. How's everyone? We're good. I got Banana Tom, at, both in chat and in party chat, which is awesome. Uh, so let's see. I do not know what is best to kill these guys with. Oh, that's a cow, though. We don't want to kill the cow. A bow with an improved arrow for a clean kill. I don't even know if I have improved arrows. Guys, the last time I was here, there were not this many uh, animals in here. They must have increased it. There was like two animals in here the last time I was here. Meow Meow remembers. She was with me. And none of these are oxen. These are all cows. Oh, no. Here we go. Ox. Ox. Perfect. Oh, dear. <laughs> they just charged at me. For reals. Oh my god. You guys, can we can we do some legit I'm gonna study these Angus Ox. Show info. Can be found on ranches across the states. Yields a hide, a horn, and a prime beef joint. Use a long scope rifle for a clean kill. Okay, so that's Yeah, I think Moose is working and lurking, and Logan's here. Logan Chow Man, great to see you. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. Everyone uh, got some fun New Year's plans? Dimash and I are going to do a Marvel movie marathon. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Um, yeah, that's going to be a hoot. We already sort of started with Captain America. We're going to watch them chronologically uh, in movie timeline. So, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, I called my horse for a reason. Sorry, guys. Got distracted. I hope everyone else has planned something safe and um, healthy for celebrating New Year's. I always like to keep it pretty low-key. Um, anytime I've tried to make a big deal out of New Year's, it uh, goes very, very wrong. And it's no fun at all. So, I like to keep it chill. Let's see. Is there sheep over there? Guys, there is way more, like, farm animals right here than there ever was before. I'm freaking out. These sheep are adorable. Look at this. We can study them. Merino sheep. How cute. Is this a different kind of sheep? No, same. Uh, merino, merino. Yep. Well, that's so cute and fun. Um, it feels evil to like shoot these because they're not my animal. Ah! <laughs> uh, let's see. Like, I'm always afraid if I shoot these animals, the farmer's gonna come out of his farmhouse and be like, what the devil? <sighs> Let's see. Hold still, please. 
Make this painless. Um, I don't think the farmer does come out and yell at you, but I think he should. I think it would make the game way more believable. And then that whole um, theory with the, uh, well not theory, but I've seen some content creators talking about how one of the future updates for this game will be being able to buy your own lodging of some kind and that maybe a farmhouse would be one of them. So maybe eventually you buy Emerald Ranch and it's just, they're yours. So then you wouldn't, I wouldn't feel as bad about killing them in that scenario. <laughs> uh, and of course they're all digital. So, you know, I'm not talking about real animals. Um, what did I want to do? Oh, I got to skin one more oxen and I wanted to call my hunting wagon. All right, where did the other oxen go? Like suddenly there's fewer of them? Like literally, where did they all go? Are they in the barn? Oh, did they run out here? Ah, look! Oh, well that's the fence, right? I'm not a farmer, I was like, <gasps> There's a kitty! Hi, kitty. Look at him right there. Oh, I almost didn't see you. He's so cute. <laughs> Sitting in the snow. Wow. Okay, so like five cows and an oxen just disappeared. No, nope, there's the cows back. Where's the other oxen? Hmm. There was totally two. We could like ride away and then ride back. That's what we'll do. We'll just come back. Where is this uh, hunting wagon? I really hope he didn't disappear. I hope he's just like ran off somewhere that I'm having trouble seeing because of all the snow and fog. Sir Smashington. Wow, an online player killed me. Huh. Hey Demush, how's things? Yeah, Logan Chowman. You know, it's just a thing. It's a thing in the game and the only thing I can say is to not get too, like, sad or upset about it, because think of it as fun. Like, you die, you respawn, uh, you can press charges if you want, you can duel that feud with people, and then, like, have a chance to kill them back if they show up. Um, you can respawn and kill them back. It's, it's just fun. I think it's fun. You don't lose money, you don't lose gold when you die. So it's kind of like in D2, like Moose, Moose kind of helped me like let go of some of that frustration where it's like I would die and I'd be like, oh man, or like I'd feel really bad because like my teammates weren't dying as much as I was. And he's like, don't sweat it. Like it's really actually not even a big deal. Like when you really think about it, it's no big thing. So yeah, I don't think, don't worry about it. Don't take it personally. Some people, that's just, like, their style of fun in this game. And honestly, I'm guilty of it. I sometimes have, like, or I've accidentally shot someone. Uh, you know, sometimes, like, for whatever reason, if you just accidentally hit the wrong combo of buttons when you're emoting at someone, you can you can shoot shoot them from the hip on accident. You know, so, like, yeah. Don't sweat it, man. I just stranded a bunch of Kerbals typing that. <laughs> what? Hey Dimash, how's things? Dimash, the sausage master. <laughs> Kerbals? Who are Kerbals? 
focus on wrong window. Stage the engines when I hit the space bar. Lol. <laughs> Loops. <laughs> what? <laughs> is that some, is that some, like, English slang you got there, Galarak? <laughs> Kerbals. I just stranded a bunch of Kerbals tucked in that. <laughs> I'm sorry, my uh... So Kerbals are from Kerbal Space Program. What's They're Kerbal? essentially a race of people and you build up their entire space program. Is it a game? It is and it's I'd probably say quite an intelligent game because you've got to do trajectories and all stuff like that. Okay. What's the game called? Kerbal Space Program, I'm pretty Kerbal sure. Space Program? Okay, I could cool. be wrong. <laughs> oh no, I've just never heard of it. Right on. <laughs> I bought I... it in one of the sales and never actually got into it because I thought it would be easier to start than it was. What do you think happens if I leave my wagon on the train tracks, guys? Mm. And what is that? What is that? Oh, it's a fox. Can the wagons be destroyed permanently or not? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, they can't. You can wreck them, and I think there's like a longer cooldown, if I remember correctly. I did do it once. Oh. Should definitely test leaving it there then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's no guarantee a train will even come. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um. Cool. What's the bounty today? Oh, and is there a new legendary we haven't done yet? No. We did the new one from last time, I think. Remember this guy? No, not that guy. Where is he? Uh, yeah, Shepard Virgil Edwards. Remember, he was the cult leader that we fought last time. Meow Meow and I, I think, did it, and, uh, yeah, that was creepy. Very cool, though. Super fun. Um, so I, was, I remember it, you saying not that long ago about the difficulty going up each time you do it. Yeah. I found out the hard way, I'm presuming you did the same as well. <laughs> yeah, I did. And I realized that if I looked at the top of the bounty poster that the stars were increasing, and I was like, oh... Cool, but that's also why, like, because uh, Meow Meow told me about uh, someone she knows in game is like level 500 something, right? And so when they do that legendary, they make so much money because of the difficulty level. Um, and you know, with a posse with players of that level, that'd be worth awesome. noting then. Yeah, I think right now I'm level. What am I? Level 127. Yeah. Um, was Logan saying he was new to the game? Oh, With I... him asking about joining and stuff before. He may be. I don't know. What level are you, Logan? I have to go. I will be back. I'm playing Red Dead in a gunfight. Oh, yeah. Gotta focus. I get it. Is this game worth buying? Lumberjack? It is. And is it like GTA? Uh... I have never played GTA. Uh, they've actually brought an online specific as well, so you don't need to buy the story mode. Oh, really? Cool. Uh, well, I would recommend it. I enjoy it a lot. Some people complain it has had a history of being very glitchy and uh, black screen. Galarak, who's in chat right now, has unsuccessfully never been able to get it downloaded to his Xbox. Um... So, like, there's problematic things, but honestly, I don't have, I personally don't have that many uh, tech issues generally. I have black, black screened a few times, but not lately. Uh, they did a an update and the they broke the wagons, you know, but they fix that stuff eventually. I have a lot of fun with the whole Western feel of everything and the open world. There's a lot of stuff to do. Granted, once you do it all, it does get grindy, but, you know, that's kind of any game, I feel like. Um, so I love it. And I can't speak to how similar it is to GTA because um, 
I have never played it. I wouldn't say don't buy story mode. Um, Tom, did you not enjoy it? I didn't really get on with it, but I'd played a lot of open world games when I first played it, and then when I rebought the game recently, I went back into story and it was meh. It was meh, yeah. Well, and here's the thing. So I actually haven't ever beat story mode. Um, I've played it and it was it felt slow to me, but I think that part of the appeal is that it's a semi-relaxing game if you want it to be. Um, I think a lot of people love the story mode and Arthur, the character you play, is um, really endearing, whether you play him honorable or dishonorable, I think. Um, Moose Gaming, who is lurking, I think, right now, uh, he did a whole playthrough with uh, Dishonorable Arthur. <laughs> and I think he had a lot of fun. So, um, you know, maybe try one or the other and see if you like the gameplay, even. Here's my Moonshine Shack, guys. Tom, are you? did you get it downloaded yet, or is it taking a while? Because sometimes it can take a while. I started it when I went to make my brew before, and find out where it is on the PS5. Still not used to it. Yeah, you know, it's like, look, I'm in my moonshine bar and I'm just eating almonds. Is this fun? Is it entertaining? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but we're having fun. Uh, here, I'll pour myself a drink, and you can get wasted on your own moonshine. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of different ways to play this game. You know, this is can be entertaining. Possibly takes, about an hour off. It takes about five. Yeah, yeah. We might not get to it before my stream is done. But I'm happy to have you in the chat. The one oh. thing I would say, uh -huh. if you've got people to play with, you'll enjoy it a lot more. Single yeah. player online is difficult to get into. Yeah. But the piece of advice you gave me, actually... Yeah. If you find yourself getting into it, it's worth starting the Bounty Hunter role first. Mm -hmm. Which I actually put to... Uh, what's it called? In GTA, they have the game shark codes, don't they? Where it's different shark for buying the in-game money. Mm -hmm. So I bought the PS4 specific one, which was about £5. Yeah. And that give me just over enough gold to get one roll. Yeah. Yeah. And within yeah. about two weeks of casual play, I'd had all but collector and one of the other roles, so it's pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, the bounty hunter roll is the one that actually gives you gold. So if you buy, spend gold on it, you're going to make your gold back. None of the other roles do gold. The only other way to make gold is by going treasure hunting and doing your dailies. I love the music in the in the bar, guys. It's like actually really fun, and they are playing Christmas songs as opposed to their usual set during the holidays. So I'm just loving it. <laughs> uh, we got a wildlife photographer event uh, here. Let's do that. I really enjoy this one. Let's see. Galark said. I downloaded it three times. I just couldn't get past the first loading screen. Xbox has since kiffed it, though, so it may have been a console problem rather than a game problem. Huh. I'll buy it. It's on sale now. Oh, good. Yeah, there you go. Especially if it's on sale. You've played the game for so long now, you wonder if you're even having fun anymore. It's like NMS. Galarek, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah, you know, any game, I think any game gets to that point where you're like, is this grind even fun anymore? And usually when I start to feel that way about a game, I'll just step away for like, you know, a week or however much time and then come back to it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this is super fun. So I don't know. What do you think that time about uh, game exhaustion? Well, part of me enjoying Destiny 2 is helping other people learn the game. Mm hmm. And that's mainly because D1 was quite a toxic environment for learning. Mm. So it was, for raiding, it was basically, you must have this weapon, must be this light, and this many clears. Which, this one you see a lot less of that. People are more willing to help you. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's the thing, if you don't know other people who are playing, uh, I joined a Facebook page 
where there's constantly friendly, fun people posting like, hey, anyone want to posse up? Hey, anybody want to go for a trail ride? I've seen like these um, trail rides people are organizing just to meet up in game and like all just ride your horses around through areas. <laughs> like, uh, I think that's really sweet and cute and fun. So there's definitely um, good people up there. There are griefers and trolls and stuff. But again, I think if you're getting shot up in a game, either think of it as fun and participate back or log out, log back in. You'll probably be on a different server and don't worry about it. That's definitely the main thing to remember. You can always reload into a different server so you're not stuck with the same people. Yeah. So if they're hunting you because you're new and they're massively overpowered, just reload. I've never actually fallen into the same group again by reloading. Yeah, no. And even even in this game, uh, if you go to your menu, I'll show you when this event is over, but I'm tracking a thing. You can go in your menu and join, go into one of the uh, like races or shootouts, um, and then uh, where did this animal go? It was right here. What even was it? Um, then when you exit out of that game, one, the game will have different people in it, and then when you come out, you'll be in a different server. So it's easy. I'm going to pick this ginseng. We are I not going to I think you'd definitely be surprised one. at my uh, playstyle on Red Dead. What do you mean? Complete opposite to my charging way on D2. Very yeah. cautious, like sneaking around and taking the shots without drawing too much attention. Oh, yeah. For sure. Which, as you well know, is complete opposite to my D2 playstyle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the two games kind of <laughs> require a different playstyle, I think. Ooh! There it is. No, don't run away, please. Come here. Keep walking. Mm. There he is. Oh, that was photogenic. Come on, give me more points. And he runs. Yeah, I'm not gonna win this one. Some people are like so good at this <laughs> this um, event. I'm obviously streaming and talking, and so not totally like <laughs> focused. Well, on I made the mistake of taking too long to get one really good picture. Forgetting you've got to get. However many it is. Yeah. What's the criteria for the photo events? Uh, what do you mean? Like, what makes a good I've photo? I've seen some people getting loads of points for X amount of pictures, and they just keep spamming certain ones. Yeah. Well, so see how I'm on the same animal, and there's a cooldown for the picture to take photo. Oh my god, is he burying something? He is. So... <laughs> My first picture of him was 23 points, and then I, I stuck with him, I waited, I took two more, and my second one was 9 points, and the third one just now was 4. So, uh, also, the kind of animal is more points. So, like, if I'm taking a picture of a bear, which is actually why it came out this direction, hoping to find one, um, that's way more points than that little fox that I was just shooting. So... It's about finding a good animal, and if it's worth it, stick with it if you're not spooking it to uh, grab two more shots with the cooldown, even though there are fewer points, you know, and then move on, try to find another animal. I think I every also... one of my pictures has been the animal running off because I've got too close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and that's why I run very far away from all the other players so that they're not screwing up my shot. And I think there's some people who purposefully do that. Um, Can you load into them as a posse or not? Yep. Because technically you could try and help someone else, couldn't you, by... By distracting the other delay, players. Distracting everyone else, yeah. <laughs> exactly. No, I think some people do that. Um, for sure. And then, like, if you... Um, I think if you played this event enough, you'd probably start to get to know where certain animals spawn in certain environments. So like if you knew the area of the map you're on and just 
you know there's a bear at this one spot all the time. So, like, I think I'm not to that point yet. <laughs> but there is a different area where, like, if you go down to the water, there's a higher likelihood of good good animals, like an elk or something. A bear. I found a bear once. He was fishing. Well, I've only done two, I think, and it was the same in the hills both times I did it. Definitely look forward to you being my teacher, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 18 points. Okay, so... Oh, the other thing is, if you're patient enough to fr actually frame a good shot... Oh, dang, he's running away now. Uh... You get extra points for photogenic shots, and I don't know exactly what the uh, algorithm is on that, but I think it's framing it within the box and it not being blocked by environment. I don't know. Need to try that when Nev. Well, when you teach me how to not spook them. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Seeing as I spend hundreds of hours in photo mods for various games. Yeah. I think the key to that is like when you see that white dot with the noise telling you which direction this animal is in, when you get close, crouch. You can still run while crouching. Um, but then like the closer you get to that white dot, you're going to be sort of gauging your terrain as well. Because, like, if you're approaching an animal, like right now, I'm approaching a white dot from the downhill side. That sucks for taking a picture, right? So, like, yeah. hopefully you also can get up. Here we go. I'm up a hill of it. And I'm going to go slowly now because I know it's close. Um, and also, if you can recognize what kind of animal it is. There he went. Um then if you like you can hear the call right so like if you know what kind of animal it is that might also d you know make you decide to go slower or uh you know because deer deer are going to spook more easily than say uh, well like a cougar that's the other thing if you're approaching a dangerous animal you want to maybe crouch sooner <laughs> So that would be based I presume on they can kill you in the photo event as well. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Do you respawn or not? You do. You can. <clears throat> I saw the green like I was framing something, but... I cannot see the creature that was right here. <clears throat> hmm. Weird. This is a longer event too, and it's definitely not like so. This is if you want shoot 'em up. This is not the event for you. I just kind of like the challenge of like finding the creatures and taking a cool picture. <laughs> the thing is, it's different, and that's what keeps games going. If everything's the same, it's not going to work necessarily, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's why, like, not everyone liked the naturalist update, but I kind of think it's great that you have an option to not kill animals. Oop. Oop. And you've got that, uh, the field guide, you know, to if, for people who are completionists and you really want a highly detailed thing to, like, boast about, filling out your field guide is uh, pretty cool, and I think. Oh, this is a coyote, I think. Where are you? Oh, it's a wolf! Uh, uh, it won't let me take out the camera when you are actually being threatened. Just so you know. <laughs> Would have been a cool shot, but he's on to me. Please go away. Do you think he'll track me? He is far enough away. I don't have enough time, really, but... Yeah, <laughs> too bad. 
Yeah, if you can get close to a predator in this event and take pictures, those are probably the higher score, like definitely the highest. God, that guy got 397 points. Wow. He's the one we need to talk to about how to be good at this event. <sighs> BRB, mother on the phone. Oh, yeah, talk to your mom. You got to. Back, sorry. Hey, no worries, Logan. Vanilla, different is good. Yeah, it is. Hi, Vanilla. Sorry, I missed. I was a little late to seeing you come in. Still no comics in, Maddie. Shipment still didn't arrive at the shop. <laughs> what? Lame. I like how you used the um old spelling of shop there, my dear. <laughs> I finished a posse up. Cool. Good. Do do do. All right. So that's always a fun event. What? Where are we at with our um, dailies? I don't. I think I have any teeth in my inventory to sell, even if I wanted to. We were gonna ride back to Emerald Ranch and kill another oxen. How far are we from all of that? Ooh, we're in strawberry. Okay. Well, we could go to the fast travel here. I do not know a good bear spawning spot. I have a feeling it's probably right around up here. This is my guess. Somewhere at the base of Mount Shan, there's probably bear. There's also, gosh, there's usually a black bear way over on the other side of the map, too. Where to go? Where to go? Hi, Scottish Rod. No problem, I'm late. No, a vanilla arrives precisely when she means to. Welcome, Scottish Rod and Vanilla, and thank you all for coming by and smashing the like button while you're here, and for posseing up with me today. I love it. Thanks. <sighs> what do you guys think? Bear? Should we go bear hunting? Or should we do a bounty? Let's go to a bounty. I love strawberry bounties. I don't know why. It's just a fun area to like have to navigate. Hee <laughs> hee. So it's downloading and it's a hundred and ten gigabytes. Probably won't be playing today. Yes. Yeah, it does take a while to download. It's a big game. But right on. Cool lumberjack. <laughs> Uh, we are gonna go do a bounty so you can see what that's like if you want to hang out with us for a little bit lumberjack um it's great to see a new name in the chat I'd love if you want to uh, subscribe I do RDO um, every Wednesday and I also play some other games too horizon zero dawn no man's sky uh, my streaming schedule is a little light at the moment because I am in between moves. Uh, me and Dimash Smash are uh, staying in a temporary spot with not as great internet as we're used to, but we're moving to our new condo in uh, 2021, end of January. So, so um, expect more from my channel in the new year. All right, what's cool is these, uh, I don't think it's for the others, but the triple bounty, triple dollar bounties, you have options now. So there's several at one bounty board, which I really like. Um, I'm by myself at the moment, so I'm not gonna go for the four person initiates. We'll go for Wiley Price here. I'm not afraid to like try to get more than one bounty at once by myself. But it can get messy. <laughs> I have a bounty wagon for such purposes, but yeah, it's so much better when you have at least one other person. You know, if I got a Joker Inc., no problem. The two of us, 
Me and Meow Meow 10. We could totally... Where is this guy? Where's his big fat head on the map? Whoa. There. Whoa. He's way up here. Alrighty then. Well, we're going to get a great tour of the Northwest Grizzlies area. And sometimes I go off the beaten path and um, don't follow the road, but like <laughs> it's so mountainous here, it's a good idea to just stick to the given directions. Man, I love all the snow on the ground. It's so pretty. Let's see. Hi, Moose. Finally got steel in, so it should be a fast day. Oh, good. Glad to hear it, Moose. It's nice when you have a work day that is nice and smooth and easy. Yeah, with my job being a uh, tech support, <laughs> um, I love a day when almost all of my tickets are like password resets or uh, inquiring about an old unlock key or something like that. It's like the easy ones. I'm like, oh, a day full of easy ones. Yay. Gosh, that's beautiful. Look at that with the sun shining. Ooh. I think this is one of our top three favorite spots. Meow Meow, Meow Meow Joker and I. This, well, probably almost anyone who plays this game. This creek, I think it's called Hawkeye. And the purple flowers, I'm not seeing them right now, but there's beautiful purple flowers up in here. So nice. I love it with the snow on the ground too. It's so fun. I, I hope they keep it for a little while. Um, that's kind of special for the holiday up, update season. I'm really liking how D2 and, and this game too ha just acknowledge the holidays. They do the little speci special things and it reminds me of, um, I, did anyone ever, did anyone in chat ever play Tapped Out? The, the um, Simpsons mobile game. <laughs> I played that heavily for a little while. Um, no longer, but guys. Oh, look, that's our bounty wagon. Our prison wagon. We're going to be taking this guy to when we find him. That's great news, Moose. Uh, let's see, what's Dimash saying? Yep, net is miserable. Terrible, but seemed to hold okay last night. I'll attempt another stream tonight. Yay, good. That's great, Dimash. I'm excited. Nice, I am doing a bounty. Awesome, Logan. Yeah. It's like we're totally posseed up, but in different universes. Is this even a road? <laughs> it says it is on the map, but I don't know. Is there extra powder on this mountain because of the winter time? <laughs> what the heck? Ooh, this path is hard to see. I am just going by the mini map right now, y'all. Okay, let's see. So, oh, he's farther up the mountain now, though. Dang, what is he doing? Where is this guy? Did he leave the mountain? Okay, hold on. We gotta check our map. Where did he go? Oh, he's over here now. Well, how do I get there? Oh, apparently straight over the mountain. <laughs> okay. Let's see if that's possible. 
Oof. Oh, nope. We did not get lucky. This was not one of those spots you could just slide down gracefully. Oops. That's alright. We'll just revive our wars here and leave it behind. Can't let it just sit there and be dead. It's be terrible. Uh, okay, so... I feel like we came down in not a great spot for getting back up to work. But he's up there in that little shelter, so... Let's just see. Oof. How good we are at mountain climbing. Oh, this could be bad. The timer's just started. No, no, no. This is bad. This is bad. Yeah, we're never going to get him in time. <laughs> this is real bad, guys. Uh, doesn't really seem like there's a, a really great clear pathway up to this. Except for the one we were on, on the other side of this mountain. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me get across. That's where I want to be. No. <sighs> Practicing our mountain climbing. No, no, no. <sighs> no. Let me get on top of this mound, please. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. What a time to come back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is so bad. YouTube had literally settled as it, you were falling to your death. Yeah, yeah. Uh, come on. All right. Can we climb this mountain? Also, hi, Night Tracer, Scottish Rod, and Nell. I think oh, that's everybody hi. that's new. Yeah, Night Tracer, I did not see you come in. Welcome. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Guys, this is terrible. Ugh. My horse is not in a place where he can get to me, I'm sure. I think I have to go, like, all the way around... Arthur Morgan never had to do this. <laughs> uh, ouch. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you come back to my RDO streams, you're guaranteed to almost always see me uh, crash and burn uh, at least one time, if not more. How many people can you have in a posse at once on that, then? Um, four to seven is the... Uh, small posse Ooh. max is small uh, is four, and the large posse max is seven. It's super fun to play with a large posse. Um, however, you can't do legendary bounties with more than four. Fair enough, I suppose. It'll make it a bit too easy, but... Yeah. At the same time, probably more difficult. Especially if me and Rod are in the same group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. A sense dynamite and random knife attacks between us. Oh, for sure. Put Firestorm in the mix. Yeah. No. <laughs> it would just be a stream of mass chaos. Ugh. My stamina is, like, out? Ugh, oh, it's bad. Let's see, we need to have some cocaine gum. <laughs> oh, this game is terrible. Yeah, but see how that gum, chewing that cocaine gum just gets your <laughs> stamina right back up? There we go. I can we, imagine. We <clears throat> rode far enough away from our horse that we could just call him and he found us. And we'll just go back up this mountain again and hopefully find the correct path. 
Um, bounties give you a lot of time, and uh, one of the things that actually is, we've debated is so, sort of pointless or backwards is that if you turn in your bounty in the last 30 seconds, you get more money and more gold. Um, and Ooh. we definitely have felt in the past that like if you actually turn it in earlier, we think that should be the case, but in a scenario like this, it's kind of nice because you're like, oh, dang, I fell all the way down that mountain, I still got my bounty, and I turned it in at 30 seconds, and I got more money. So I could see, like, where, yeah, you're almost like, yeah, I freaking earned this <laughs> by bringing it in at the last second. All right, so... Um, in a situation like this, I'm going to actually pause here. Go on foot, because, um... If you don't know anything about topographical maps, learn a little bit. Because see how, like, I, right now I'm just, like, following the fact that the terrain is telling me this is more or less uh, flat-ish. So, there we go. Here we are. It looks like he may be alone, guys. We're in luck. Oh, no, he's not alone. Not a lot of cover here. Maybe my white coyote hood will help my sneakiness. <laughs> I wish that were like real. Are you not using your rather large feather oh. hat? Dang it, that should have been a silent kill. Why wasn't it? it makes me mad. Ugh. Sorry for the brutal brutality, guys. It's just the name of the game. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. Company. Ooh, shot his hat off. <laughs> oh, I shot the bounty. Whoops. He wasn't supposed to attack me. He was supposed to stay hiding and cowering in his little shed. But I guess sometimes that's what happens. You do get less money for turning in a dead bounty, but there are um, buckle achievements for both. So, doesn't matter. Is it significantly less? Um, yeah. Considering that bounties aren't like the best cash maker in the first place. Uh, yeah, it's definitely like, uh, feels a little less worth it, but. Because like some bounties, the probably well, and that's why there's like, uh, you know the look. Sorry, Ugh, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, the dollar signs at the top of the bounty posters kind of show difficulty and how much you're gonna make, right? So the single dollar one amounts. If you kill a single dollar bounty, you're way less money. You know, you'll get like ten bucks, five bucks. Um, but I do always like to loot the bodies. You know, it's not a lot of money, but it adds up. And then also you can um, sometimes get a daily just from looting collectibles. That's generally how I end up getting most of my kill someone dailies. Just go for the bounties. Yeah. There's yeah, and that's... Gonna ask you, but it's gone. It's, that's most of the collecting I do as well. Like, I get my antique liquor and and um, tarot cards and things like that from banditos. Where's this guy? The snow like really makes it hard to see these guys. 
All right, two and a half minutes. I'm lollygagging. Let me grab this guy. Where's my horse? Come here, baby. Um, boop, boop, boom. Oh, the other thing that helped me starting up with Red Dead Online as well. If you've got Amazon Prime, check Gaming Prime, I think it's called now. Oh. There was a good few helpers on that for Red Dead. Oh yeah, like and if you have a Twitch Prime account and things like that, there's sometimes some bonuses. Yeah, it's essentially your Twitch Prime. And Amazon Prime, sorry. <coughs> Are they the same? No. Sorry, just had to clear my throat. Uh, Amazon's now bought out Twitch, whereas I think before they were just partnered together. Oh, okay. Because when you add an Amazon Prime, yeah, there is only the full account for Amazon Prime. But Ooh. if you have Amazon Prime, you've got Twitch Prime, essentially. All right, cool. Ah, no, no, we're never going to make it. Ah, mm -hmm. this is terrible. Ugh. Also, don't do what I did. Buy the elephant gun really early on. Uh, why? Not that many uses, especially with. It's quite difficult to earn money at the beginning, and having that thing, not very many uses for the early game. Yeah. I just went, heat be gun. Yeah, I know. Be it's shoot really be cool. gun, fall over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think we're going to make it, guys. Oh my god, all that work for nothing. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I am on my fastest horse. Come on, buddy. Yay. It's not so bad I would give up, but oh my god. I think we're gonna get it. I think I have to like take you him off. You can do oh, it! I did it! I didn't have to take him off the horse. <laughs> oh my god. That was like two seconds to spare. Whew. Let me catch up with chat. Sorry guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> dinner's ready lurk time. Alright, cool. Enjoy your dinner, Scottish Rod. Got caught up in the moment. <laughs> It's no problem. It's just associated with me being bullied, so I don't like it. Oh. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I, I didn't see that stuff earlier. Cool, cool. Perfect. I'm glad we all know that now. So, guys, just, just Nell is fine. Don't make it cute. <laughs> uh, what do you need to buy? Outfits and guns. Cash. Make cash. And uh, sometimes some of them are gold, and some of them aren't all available until you rank up some rolls. So yeah, just check your catalog, which you can look at by holding down left on the D-pad. And all of these things, you can buy anything anytime, or go to a shop in a city. Uh, both are fun to do. But yeah, so you can check your guns out. I don't read all the small print. <laughs> um, I also pay Keep attention. Keep an eye on buying full uh, full max ammo, whatever it is. Yes. When you're in the catalog, made that mistake plenty of times. <laughs> yeah. Always keep your ammo. I always buy maxed out ammo and then just pick it up at my mailbox when I need. Um, and then I also pay attention to what people kill me with in the game, because if I'm getting killed with a gun a lot I'm like oh that's a really good gun <laughs> so that's what's informed a lot of my buys um, oh and I think everyone who starts this game you must and should buy this first it's only $72 your varmint rifle this is what you can use to get um, perfect skins on rabbits and turkeys and it just it doesn't do a whole lot of damage to birds and things so like I shoot all my small carcasses uh, little tiny birds out of the sky with this thing they're two stars you actually have to use small game arrows to get three stars on those tiny birds but it's, I why uh, <laughs> anyway so yeah 
Varmint rifle, first purchase of gun, I think. But then I really love, um, I wanted to be a double wielding gunslinger, so I've got, uh, bought the extra, you have to buy an extra holster to add on your ammunition belt. So then you unlock your double wielding, and I've got the Lamat revolver and the volcanic pistol, which I, I like both of these a lot. Ooh, they need cleaning. Look at that. Um, I got killed by this one a lot, so I bought it. And this is the um, collector decor decorated one. Uh, it's like a special d um, design for the collector role. And then the Lamat has an optional shotgun. So that this is both a revolver and a shotgun, which I was like, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know me <laughs> so yeah that's like um, my preferred sort of weapon build out in this game um, I've got the elephant rifle there you've got to get uh, I've got the rolling block with the uh, long shot sights on it you know so you can really do a good long distance kill on those What's the time, guys? It is high noon, just about. One well, thing I find out, because I'm not that precise in Red Dead, the pump action shotgun is built in for when there's a lot of people or clearing out camps. Oh, yeah. Uh, Meow Meow, I think, really likes that one as well. And I haven't bought it yet. I'm sure I'll love it. <laughs> um, I recently did buy a shotgun. What did I buy? Oh, this rare one and I don't even know if it's the one I wanted to buy I saw um, a special on Facebook like a promotion that was talking about the Krampus shotgun which seems like it had like some kind of holiday decorative engraving and I don't think this one has it so I don't know if I got the wrong one but I didn't see anything in the catalog that specifically said Krampus shotgun. So like, I don't know, I got this rare shotgun the other day thinking I was getting the Krampus. I don't know if it is the right one or not. Is there a seasonal pass like there was for Halloween? Because I'm wondering if the skin for it's in there. Oh, you're probably right. Yep. There is there is a um, outlaw pass going right now. It's probably part of that. Um, hmm. Let's see. Round them up, Maddie. <laughs> D smash. How's it, bro? Let's see. Hold on, guys. Oh, let me go back a little bit here. What do you need about? Okay, used to be in cough mixture for kids. Ah, D smash. How's it, bro? Yes, same thing. Round them up. Nella is good. Spider calls me Nella Doodle. Hey, I like that. <laughs> it feels like I've been at work 24 hours now, but it's only been four. Yeah. Uh, me too. Gonna cut early in a couple hours, though. I have a very important meeting with a geck. <laughs> We were going to close early tonight, too. We closed at 6, but a lady just called for a pickup order at 5.30. Ah, The nerve. Well, I hope she knows that you are making her New Year bright. <laughs> and that she tips you good. Um... Let's see, and Tom, do you, you're going to start on the hour, or as soon as I'm done? Because actually, I need to go get some food and bring it to Dimash, and then I'm, I'll be good to go. I, can I usually start about half nine. Okay, cool. Well, then My I'll time, end. so... Yeah, I will end off uh, early, right now, then. So I can go grab Dimash food and come back in time for streaming with Banana Tom. Yeah, if you're all back and ready, before half nine my time, I'll start it at nine or whenever. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, wait. What's what time is it now for you? Twelve minutes past eight. Oh, okay, okay. I don't have to end early then. I thought it was twelve minutes past nine. So. Plenty of time yet. Cool. Good. Guys, I'm hearing a bear. This is why I'm like running around like a crazy person right here. <gasps> there's a bear! Oh um, there's two bears. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> He's coming for me. <sighs> oh my god. Guys, um, that's the elephant rifle. I I'm really thankful <clears throat> I have it right now. Oh my god. <laughs> there's two bears. Oh my god. I'm sorry, that was really intense. <laughs> the one's coming now. <laughs> yeah, you're watching it six minutes after, huh? Or six seconds. <laughs> Holy crap. Noise. Food. Yeah, I'll be bringing you food soon, babe. Oh, oh holy mackerel. Oh. That was perfect. We got our daily and uh, had a little bit of excitement there. <laughs> well, my install's paused. Why have you paused? What's a uh, um? <laughs> so it, when the Halloween event was going on in D two, I had a very similar reaction of terror. Uh, when going through the infinite forest and that, um, I mean, I don't even know what it's called, but that, that big bad that like you cannot kill. I had like a visceral fear reaction to that bad guy in the game. And I'm just wondering like if there's for people in the chat and you, Tom, like what games are there? Uh, like what other villains and games that you've played give you that feeling of like actual fear? I'm trying to think that's a brilliant question, but might have to get back to you when it's my stream. Just got to consider something on that, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. The one um, that's amusing, though, um, Rod will probably agree with me on this. Omnigold that was brought into D2 when the Shadow Keep came out. You hear that scream and instantly go, oh, she's back. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's definitely some dread there. <laughs> I think, like, well, Meow Meow plays those horror games, and the the one she played that was just really <laughs> disturbing, the one with the, the weird red hat lady that had a spine sword, Ugh. that's definitely on the list for me, too. Typical. That's an amazing question. <laughs> Dimash, it looks like food might be a while. Maddie is distracted by bears. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, we had to get that daily. It's pretty great. Uh, I definitely can't think of one. There's plenty of stuff that jump scares and stuff like that, as you've heard plenty of times when I come out with my high-pitched, ah! <laughs> Yes, yes. Vanilla, Violet I'd probably say it's difficult. I don't really play games that scare me or anything like that, as in horror games. Yeah. Get Bobo to us to see if she likes all the horror stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, oh. I don't like overly horrific. Um, I, I've been playing Control for a while now and and that's kind of about as spooky as I want to get and honestly once you're into the game it's not that spooky yeah it's more creepy isn't it really yeah creepy thriller I'm gonna have to go the away one that and properly think about creeped... that yeah the one that properly creeped me out was the first time I found out the witches in God of War when I found Ooh. out they had feet to that drag along the floor. Ooh. Yeah. Which is yeah. why I made a point of showing everyone that they had feet that drag along, because I didn't even think they were human. 
Ooh, yeah. Oh, take control of the railroad car. Okay, we're gonna try this. And maybe get a different rifle on here. Sure, we'll do the carbine repeater, but I'm gonna keep my shotgun out. Mm, yeah, for close combat here. You think this guy's coming to shoot me? You first! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, ouch. We gotta find the train in the next 50 seconds or so. St. Denis is a little weird that when they spawn you in these back alleys. Um, Violet Honeybee, welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming by. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, you walked into, you, you came on the stream right when we were posing the question, what are um, villains in games that have actually given you the heebie-jeebies that get, make you physically feel scared or like the pit of your stomach drops out, you know. Um, another one that I just thought of was the, um, uh, it's in one of the Zelda games. I think it's Ocarina of Time? And they're like these weird kind of zombie clingy things. They come up and they grab you. You guys know what I'm talking about? I know Dimash does. And I might have the wrong Zelda game in mind. Maddie I got imagine sick. Zelda fans will know anyway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hold on, let's see. I'm going to have to go with anything I brought control, but I haven't played it yet. Either it looks amazing, you know. Maddie got sick at the bad guy from Warframe. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Nightbiter and Violet from Moose. Um, yeah, oh my gosh. Oops. Um... Yeah, the Warframe villain, um, he was just, yeah, he, <laughs> he made me physically sick. I wasn't afraid of him. I just wanted to vomit when I saw his face. <sighs> Is that the general right early on in the game? Yeah, yeah. To me, he kind of looked like a weird fleshy pie. <laughs> and I like pie, and so that's, I think that's why I didn't like looking at his face. <laughs> Fleshy pie. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if there ever was a pie face, it's that guy. <laughs> and I don't approve of name calling, so. Why do I feel like pie face is a character in something? I should know. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Dennis the Menace. He oh, had a friend yeah? called Pie Face. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is in the comic. Yeah. Doesn't he wear, like, a little crown? Maybe not. I didn't see the movie. I can't remember. Also, there's a movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the movie's got, um... Who's that old actor? Uh, Walter Matthau, isn't it his name? He's so great. He plays the grumpy neighbor. Gonna have to research that. I think it's on Netflix, or it was. Um, uh, this one is terribly difficult, y'all. Which one is this that you're doing now? Uh, the Railroad Baron event. <laughs> Redeads. I'm Definitely thinking not Venom. Venom, yeah, Venom's freaky. That's it. Oh, Redeads. Yeah, that's the name of the um, zombie thing I was talking about. Oh. No! Shot my horse, and then me. <laughs> He's in a gang called Bunch of Old Fockers. That's hilarious. Really? A movie? I only know the comics. Yeah, yeah, it's a cute little movie. I And I think Dimash has told me that it's um, pretty fun. God, the, this shotgun's not working long distance. I'm gonna go to my repeater here. Does the child <laughs> have blonde hair in that Dennis the Menace film? Yes. Ah, I have seen it. 
I don't remember anything about it at all. But I always thought it was a different Dennis oh. just because he had blonde hair. And the oh. comic book one had black hair and spiky. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Dennis the Menace was blonde. Oh. Well, from Dennis the Menace comics I used to get when I was five, six. Nasher was small dog that was black hair and the same color as Dennis's huh. hair. Oh. And a red and black striped jumper. Hmm. Oof. Stop. God, these guys are good. I don't know how to dodge. Like, ugh, I want to dodge more. I mean, one of the big things to do when you're pretty far behind the train is either, like, ride off a ways so the people aren't uh, messing you up as bad. Oh, that Maxim gun sucks. <sighs> yeah, it's it's a uh, so they're in a posse. This is a posse that's loaded into this whole event, and so they've got one of their members on the train, right? And then everybody else in the posse is just messing life up for anyone not in the posse. Which is fine, but that's why I'm doing so badly. Hey, Grandpa La, what up? Howdy, folks. Not in the UK. Dennis has black hair. Oh my gosh! I hate that shit. <laughs> See, I'm now curious that I'll research as to which one came first, blonde hair or black hair. Oh yeah, for sure. I'd love or to Or if they're both taken for something else. <laughs> Screw it. Forgive me for dropping out of your stream briefly while I search this. Oh yeah, all good. <laughs> Let us know. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, it's Im almost impossible to get on the train if, like, the a posse is holding it. You'd have to have a whole, you know, your own posse going on, too. So maybe what I should do is just shoot some folks. Teach them a lesson. I'll mess with you back. That's the lesson. See? And then I feel better. <laughs> First I... appearance, 17th of March, 1951. And he has black hair, but completely different looking to the Dennis I grew up with. Yeah. Wait, so he originally had black hair? Is the answer? He did, yes. Alright, cool. Man, these guys, they're brutal. Such US name. I don't approve of their horse killing methods. <laughs> it's just as easy to shoot me in the head while on my horse, to like shoot my horse and then kill me on the ground. But whatever, it's alright. There's really. It's Do you not get charged for killing people's horses as well? Uh, mm, I don't know. It's a good question. Ah, I just want to. I just want to get on the train. That's, what, that's all I'm shooting for now. Someone screenshot the names. Search for them when we get a group together. <laughs> right. Revenge like, for not yeah. putting Maddie on the train. Like if Damn you. Damn you! <laughs> <laughs> If you could have sessions, like ses like a list of people, like a <laughs> like your kill list, <laughs> and then you just watch the sessions for him, get him. So came out in UK and US at the same time. Blonde in US, black hair in UK. What the hell? What the hell? Yeah, what? That's weird. Um. There's a lot of things about 
the US that's messed up. <laughs> Um, if I carry what? on reading that, I'll be reading all night. What, what even? Just I was happened? trying to find out if they got it from somewhere. Well, it's been fun. Time to head back to the main kitchen. Lurk and Suze. Bye all. Bye, Dimash. Have fun. I'll bring you food real quick. In the UK, he has a dog, and in the US, he has a teddy bear and a cat. Ah. Yeah. Nash's ace as well. The dog. Although I seem to remember yeah. him having like overly large human teeth. Later, Gator. <laughs> Bye, Grandpa Law. Yeah, Grandpa Law. I've got a posse I'm battling here. It's not gonna happen. But have a great day. Good to see you. I hope uh, you, you join the posse one day, dude. Grandpa Law has like the best uh, voice for posseing with this game, guys. <laughs> um. Hey, Meow Meow. Hey there, sweet Maddie in chat. Sorry, I'm not there, hun. Only just walked out of work. Gonna be driving and listening. Oh, cool. All right. We'll drive safe. Hi, Mia. No distracted driving, please. <laughs> uh, we're actually proud to be gonna be ending off the. Oh, later, Gator 2 to Mash. Um, probably going to be ending off the stream here in about 10 minutes um, so I can go get Dimash some food and be back in time to stream some D2 with Banana Tom wow and yeah. hopefully get you some useful exotics yeah so see see those top four cats those are all the um, good old fuckers uh, posse so congratulations to them that's cool yeah, I'm going to get me an exotic today, hopefully. Uh, it's not me. clear enough to screenshot it. Yeah, it's okay. Um, let's see. I was counting on the fact that this might leave me uh, around a populated area so that I could get a butcher and sell my bear teeth. Uh, let's see, I don't see a butcher here. We're in Van Horn, so we'll just go. Let's see. St. Denis will be cheap and quick. I didn't know Van Horn and had a just... stable right there. Hmm, yes, Tom? You've just reminded me of another question I wanted to ask. Yeah. Selling skins and stuff. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference in price of to who you sell it to? Not when it comes to the butchers. Um, there may be a difference if you go to Gus. And I haven't sold enough stuff to Gus to really know, actually. Gus is the antithesis of Harriet for the naturalist role. Uh, he's a poacher, and if you skin the legendary animals instead of sedating them, you can sell them to Gus, and that's how I got the garment that I'm wearing right now. Um, I don't like the look of all of them, so like it's not important to me to like get all of the outfits from Gus. I think some people were really into that, and there are some really cool... Like Meow Meow 10 got a really cool buffalo hood that's kind of like crazy big and looks really awesome though um but some of them i think look too weird even this one i just think it makes you know extends the head so much it's kind of strange looking but it's fun i think it's it looks wintry so i'm into it uh right now um so yeah that's the only difference and then of course um you have the option to sell things to a butcher or donate it to crips and so it may be more worth it to save certain items to, for crypts rather than sell them to a butcher. It kind of depends on your needs at the moment. I think if you were like, I want some quick cash, go to a butcher, you know. And then also um, bear in mind that crypts does not take fish. So any fish you're catching, you're for sure going to want to just stop by a butcher and 
it's actually good money if you've got like a you know pouch full of salmon uh, or you know the muskies the bigger fish you can only carry one on your horse at a time but they're like 10 bucks um, which in terms of cash quick cash is actually not bad um, I used to, early game, when I was starting out and just trying to get leveled up a little bit, I was, um, I would catch, <laughs> well, and also trying to be true to my namesake, Madfish, um, I will catch a muskie and put one on my horse, and then I'd catch another one, and then I would walk carrying one muskie. <laughs> this was before I had enough money to buy a hunting wagon, and I hadn't got there yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'd do two fish at a time. <laughs> Hardcore just walking from Oangela Lake to Strawberry is insane. <laughs> I don't recommend that. <laughs> I'm just a weirdo. <laughs> I'd be quite proud of that, taking it to the proper roleplay side of it. Yeah, exactly. Right? And then also I how like funny, you know... With, I don't think any other live players ever came across me when I was doing it, but I thought how funny it would be if someone, a stranger, just like saw me trudging along with a fish <laughs> and then a fish on my horse too. I think other players would get uh, So I keep a lot of my meats, like I'm not going to sell all this raw meat to him because I like to have it around for making um, stew. Sometimes your trader daily will be making the special recipe. So the more ingredients I have on me, the more often I can just easily get that daily done when it's available. So, dang it, do I not have any teeth? Ox horn. Ah, oh, shoot. I don't have any teeth. I forgot that bears don't give you teeth. Uh, it's just wolves and um. I was going to say cheetahs. Cougars, that's what I'm trying to think of. How cool would that be if there were cheetahs in this game? Well, I think there kind of is. There was some sort of leopard, legendary leopard type thing that is available now. Still haven't done any of the legendary hunts. I haven't. Um, done them by picking them up from Harriet, but I have ran into them in the wild. They're fun. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, they're fun to get. Well, that's how I got this thing that I'm wearing. And if, uh, Do you have you to know, use the exotic lures at any point, or is that uh, solely for when you're hunting a specific thing? I think when you're hunting a specific thing, I have never ha used... The ones I've ran into, I've never used bait. Um, the one I ran into the most is actually the beaver that's up by Oangela Dam. He's pretty feisty. He'll attack you. <laughs> uh, so I've actually, I killed him once and I've sedated him once. For those of you who might be... Okay. Um, for those of you who haven't seen the field guide yet... Um, basically that all the animals are grouped into types so you've got your farmland desert wetland mountain and grass and for each of these categories they've even separated the legendaries right into dark light red and blonde so if you look in these pamphlet this is your your book right inside my book i've got um to so this animal the um florida cracker cow i have killed three skinned three studied them, um, I still need to sedate one and sample one and then photograph one. So those are like for people who are completionists, this is a really fun kind of massive undertaking actually. <laughs> and I know some I'm people who did it right away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then see the little initial uh, on this one, the little circular bit uh, there. That is because I have sold a sample to Harriet. So, um, that's an extra little beep, a little <laughs> collector thing. So yeah, if you're really into that kind of stuff, this is a great role to, to tackle. It's a massive undertaking and I'm not focused on it at all. I'm just kind of letting it organically happen. 
I like to role play. Grandpa Law, you guys hit me up next time you play and we will do multiple streams. Yeah! Heck yeah! Dual streaming? I'm so into it. Multi stream. Magpie, can I join you? Hey, Violet, um, feel free to friend me on PS4. It's Madfish Magpie, just like it's spelled in my channel. Um, but I, I don't let people join while I'm streaming unless I've streamed with you before or like played with you before. You know, kind of like a like a get to know you session because like not everybody has a personality for for streaming or YouTube. Um, though I do enjoy having fun with anybody. So, you know, I'm happy to do some trader missions offline, get to know you. And, you know, if, if you've got a personality for YouTube and I'll be honest, it's nothing personal, but I am uh, like I have a degree in theater and I, I am an actress, you know, so like uh, it's important to me that like. Uh, you know, if you've got a strange voice or a strange personality, it's nothing against you, but like we won't do it on uh, on air. <laughs> so, so, yeah. And you um, let me on your stream? I know. <laughs> I'm a crazy person, Tom. <laughs> so thank you for understanding that, but definitely hit me up on PS4. We'll uh, maybe do uh, uh, some trade runs or a, 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 uh, I've got some, I think... I need some ingredients. I sold all of my ingredients because I was tired of like not being able to pick herbs. So anyway, I've got to get my moonshine situation back and sorted, but we could deliver some moonshine too. Get you some cash in game, help you level up, um, have some fun, but maybe not on air. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. Um, if my copy of RD2 wasn't in storage, I'd re-download it, Mads. Oh, every time you watch me play, you say that. That knocks me out. Boah. <laughs> that knocks me out. Oh, Grandpa Law, we've already had you on the stream. Actually, early in my early game days, Grandpa Law, uh, you hopped on and you kind of coached us on like good things to do to make money. So like, actually, I got to credit you with helping me get to where I am today. Level 127. <laughs> so we're getting there. It's, it's going well. Hi, Sour Painter. Can I add you because I have no one to play with? Yeah, add me on PS4, Madfish Magpie. Um, I don't don't have a lot of get time for gameplay at the moment, but like if we get lucky and some things, some stars align, definitely. We'll, uh, I gotta load up my trade table, guys. We're um, low on materials, so you guys can help me load up my trade table and then we'll run a full load, make a bunch of money for everybody. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't get animal teeth to sell, that's what my goal was. Oh, oxen skin, let's go back. Final thing for the stream today, guys. We'll go finish that daily. It's not exciting at all, but you know, I'm having such a good time with you. Um, and I told Dimash I'd bring him food around one. So I think that the timing will be good. And then uh, half an hour after that, if you can't just get enough of my voice, <laughs> I will talk way less on Tom's stream <laughs> in about no. an hour, uh, about 50 minutes from now. Banana Tom. Tom, throw another link to your channel in there. We've got some new people just popping in. Uh, Banana Tom and I will be playing D2 in a little while, guys. If you, if you want to know Somebody can bring some professionalism about... to my stream. <laughs> oh, shush. He's the master, guys, if you want to learn more about Destiny. Um, he's taught me everything I know. I I'm generally it's... happy to help. Yeah. No, you have a lovely voice. Oh, thanks, Vanilla. Okay, that's fine. I have a deep voice. Not not a normal for a woman. Hey, that's all right. Uh, I, I have lots of deep deep voiced female friends. And actually, like, I'm, I'm a bleeding heart liberal hippie, guys, so I really don't care what you identify as. <laughs> uh, mostly, I just don't think it matters. So be who you are and love who you are and be nice to other people and try to be respectful no matter what whenever possible there we go uh, what you got what you got there Tom oh I just actually found where I was going oh good <laughs> Constantly getting lost in YouTube and PS5 at the minute. Yeah. 
least uh, me one you, of them does. Are you enjo- <laughs> enjoying your PS5? Thoroughly enjoying it. Um, I don't have any exclusive games for it at the minute. Um, Destiny 2's got the PS5 upgrade, which the main thing you could got is the point of view slider, so you can see a lot wider angle. Oh, right, yeah. You were excited about that. The other one is Valhalla. Yeah. Which looks amazing. I'm just curious as to what actual specific PS5 games are going to look like, because that's cross-gen. Yeah. Um, Vanilla is loving Valhalla. Am I right, Vanilla? (laughs) Um, Also, guys, this is crazy. I thought if I went away and came back, the ox would have respawned. We went away and came back, and there's absolutely not a single... Okay, there's one. There is one blinking cow over here. But not an oxen. And earlier today, we were here, and there were five cows and two oxen. So what is going on? This farmer is conducting some shady business. That's all I have to say about that. All right. Well, that was a bust, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, let's Since we're here, let's see if we have anything to sell to the fence. Because I always forgot to go. I always forget to go to the fence. Hmm. Been a while since you were through here. Go on, oh. have yourself a quick nosy. If you're having trouble talking to someone you want to sell stuff to, it's because there's a weapon in your hands. Oh good. That's a good little small bit of cash, right? We started with 900 something today. We're up to 1010. Very cool. Hi. <laughs> Can I take your horse? No, I can't. Look, but see, hey, there's a player here. Oh, he thumbsed me up. I'm going to thumbs him up. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's just can't... at that point my Red Dead's finished installing and downloading. Of course, right when I'm about to end off. Well, next Wednesday, Tom's going to actually posse up with me. Yay! <laughs> um, How long have I been saying I'll do it for? Yeah, a while. <laughs> um, and look, guys, we just had a positive interaction with another player. So it is possible. Don't fear. You're not going to get griefed by everybody. Thank you again for coming to my stream. <laughs> it was a really talkative one today. We didn't do a lot of action, but I feel like we had a lot of new people in the chat. We had a lot of fun things that we were talking about, and that's all because you guys were here. So thank you again for being here. I'll see you next Wednesday around 10.30 a.m. Pacific time or a little after is when I start. We go until high noon or a little after. Um, Banana Tom's channel is there, so I'll be there in a little less than an hour, guys. And yeah, again, thank you. So many great to see new names in the chat. So thanks for coming by, um, hitting the like button, and subscribing. It's brilliant. And now I have Moose on my friends list. I see his pictures on my map. Oh, cool. <laughs> that's great. Oh, I, that's the cool part of that game. I, I, probably one of the reasons I would decide to play Assassin's Creed is because of that photo photo sharing aspect to the game right <laughs> you're a photo taker in game right tom you love you're he's really good at you guys yeah i spend half my game time near enough taking pictures even in games that don't have a photo mode like destiny i've probably spent a good 20 hours taking pictures in this <laughs> yeah yeah it's fun i like we have that in common and i like it um all right I really am saying bye this time, guys, so so thanks again. <laughs> Ciao!